What's up, folks? Welcome to Math with Mr. Weeb. Today we are describing relationships algebraically in our Lesson 1 Your Turn questions. The first question says, what algebraic expression could each model represent? So here, I'm going to start by counting how many x's there are. And I see that there are 3, 6, 9 x's. So that's what I'll start with. I'll write down one way to describe this is by saying 9x, and then here we have some ones, two, four, six ones being taken away from those x's. So we write down, take away six. That's one way that we could write it. Another way that we could see it is we could see this as one group of three take away, three x's take away two, and another group, and another group. So since we have three identical groups, we could write this as three groups of three x's minus two. So two different ways of saying the same thing. The next one, how many x's do we have? Well, I see eight x's. So I can just write down eight x. Or again, I can see this as two equal groups of four x's. So since I've got two equal groups of four x's, this is how I would write it. Uh, you could also see it as uh, four groups of two x's if you saw it more like this, right? Here's two x's, and then another two x's, another two x's, and another two x's, right? So four groups of two, two groups of four, different ways of saying the same thing again. How could you write each description algebraically? 20 more than three times a number. So the first thing I'm going to do is I would circle the, the key words in here. Uh, so I'm just going to highlight more than. That means I'm doing a reversal, and it means I'm adding. More than means adding. So I add. And another one that I see is I see we have times a number. So times means multiply, and a number, we can give that the letter n this time. Okay, so the first thing, 20 more than three times a number, let's start with that, three times a number, right, because we're switching it around, and we have 20 more than three times a number. The other way we could do it is we could say 20 take away 3n, because this is another way of saying what do we need to add to 3n to get to 20? Next, we have triple a number. So we we'll can highlight that or circle it. And we have a number and we have divided. And then we'll just put those. Uh, tripling is three times a number. And the number can be n. And here we have divided by. So when we do this, put it all together, we have 3 times a number divided all by 4. Question 3 says, write an algebraic expression where the variable is m, a coefficient is 4, and there is a constant of 8. Now, it has to be an expression, not an equation, so there are no equal signs in this. The variable should be m, and a coefficient is 4. A coefficient is the thing that you multiply the variable by. So I could write 4 times m, and I could just add 8, and that would be doable. Uh, another way you could do it is 8 plus 4m. You could just reverse those around. Um, and there's lots of different ways that you do this because it says there is a constant of 8, so you could, you could put extra things onto this, like um, 6 plus 4m plus 8, as long as one of those constants Right, this is a constant, and this is a constant. As long as one of them is 8, you are fine. And it also says a coefficient is 4, so you could have something more complex. You could have uh, 24m plus 4m plus 18, and that would be fine as well. For the final question, it says, what does 4x minus 5 mean? It doesn't mean we subtract 5 from, from a number and then multiply by 4. Well, let's go through and see what this means. Subtract 5 from a number. So subtract means to take away a number and then multiply. 
right? So we can say what these things are, subtracting from a number, n, and then multiplying by 4. So that looks like this. Oh, and also, if you recognize that from a number means we are reversing things a little bit. So this would look like this. Subtract 5 from a number. So we have a number, and we're subtracting 5 from it. And then we're multiplying by 4. So we take all of that, and we're multiplying by 4. So that doesn't look like 4 times x minus 5 exactly yet. The next one is multiply. Multiply a number by 4, and then subtract 5. So multiply means we multiply, we choose a variable for a number, and then subtract 5. So here, how does that look? Multiply a number by 4. So we have 4 n's, and then subtract 5. Okay, well that looks exactly like this, right? Except that we chose a different letter for the variable. So 4n minus 5, we don't need to go any farther because we have found our answer. The answer is B. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.